What was your big, big struggle when you were there? Well, so Ernst and Young told the people at Cushman and Wakefield that they needed to have a CPO. And there were, it was a small procurement team. I mean, when I left, it was a large procurement team. But when, when I started, it was small. And I understood, you know, what I was going into. Um, I walked in one day and they were gone. And I said, huh, why are all these, there was someone from HR sitting in my office. And I said, why are these people gone? Like, what happened? And she said, well, we hired you. Like, there was such a lack of understanding that that, it wasn't you it wasn't I wasn't gonna spend my time filling out purchase orders. In fact, I said to them, if that's what you want me to do, this is a terrible use of of uh, you know my time and my brain power. So what you need to do is let's figure out a way to focus me on bringing, some deliverables in that we can then use to fund more people coming in. And that's what, that's what we did in the end. We found, we found a credit with a consulting firm. They were able to come in and do a spend analysis for me. I was able to target on a couple of things. We got some suppliers to help us. We, uh, they were very, very true to their word. The CFO was very true to his word and allowed me to um, then start to create the staff so that we had a very, highly functioning group by the point in time that I left. Uh, one uh, a group of people focused on the corporate side, but a much larger group focused on the client side. And if I recall correctly, the company was acquired by private equity and it was kind of a nice time for you to transition out of the org. Well, it was. So, you know, you get handed a gift sometimes. And when you're an empty nester, you know, you're in a different situation in life. Uh, my husband very much wanted to be retired. It was the perfect time to go and uh, and look to do something different. So I started doing some direct consulting. Like I would come in and I would do a project. And uh, that was terrific. I mean, it was very lucrative. It was very terrific. But in order to have a real business, you need to work 24-7, at least in the initial years. And that was incompatible with the lifestyle that I wanted to, to lead. And so after a couple of years of doing it, I said, all right, I, I'm just going to stop this now. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to finish these projects one at a time, try to bring them all to a completion. And I gave myself a time frame, like dur during this, this summer, I forgot the year, but during the summer, I wanted to finish everything uh, because I had a book that was partially written. I felt like every time somebody said, how's the book? I would say almost done or her getting there. And I was afraid that would be in my obituary. She had a book that was almost done. So I decided to um, focus on that and then focus on doing a couple of other interesting things, but on a very much smaller level.